hello friends and family welcome back to my channel i finally tried the bentonite clay mask lots of people are raving about and i'm here to share my experience with you so the aztec clay has so much cosmetic and medical benefits but the main reason i used it was to detoxify my hair the direction on the label says to mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water use a non-metallic bowl and utensil Stir the mixture well to a smooth paste. Add more clay or liquid as needed. I'm using this for my hair and scalp which does not have any particular instruction here. But from what I read, you leave it on the scalp for about 15 to 20 minutes. And lastly, remove clay by washing with warm water. Bentonite clay is natural and it's packed with minerals like calcium, magnesium and iron which are beneficial for the skin, hair, and the body as a whole. When bentonite clay is applied to the hair and scalp, which it's actually not limited to, it absorbs materials by sticking to their molecules or ions. And as the clay leaves the hair and scalp, it takes the toxins or other molecules with it, which includes some bacteria. The direction on the label says I could use apple cider vinegar and or water. So I'm using the apple cider vinegar. Bentonite clay is alkaline and apple cider vinegar is acidic, so the apple cider vinegar is expected to balance the pH. Bentonite clay absorbs metals which makes it less effective after it does so, and hence it shouldn't be prepared or stored using metallic spoons or containers. It's best to use plastic or wood. The same quality of the bentonite clay is what makes it great for absorbing heavy metals such as lead from the body. So from instructions, I'm using one part of bentonite clay to one part of apple cider vinegar. Being my first time, I wasn't sure what quantity will be enough for my hair. So I first prepared a half cup, but later on I had to add another half cup. So in all, I used one cup of bentonite clay and one cup of apple cider vinegar. Now to make the paste, I started adding the apple cider vinegar in beads. So here I made a little mess trying to just whisk everything from start. So going forward, I'll just combine everything gently before I start whisking. You can use either a plastic or wooden spoon for this process. I prefer to use the whisk, I felt it was more convenient. So this is the final consistency after adding equal parts of apple cider vinegar. And I think I'm okay with this. You can add more powder or reduce the quantity of liquid you add depending on the consistency you want. As with any new product, first do a patch test in the crook of your arm. Leave it on for about 15 minutes and be sure you don't react before you use it. The first thing you want to make sure is to detangle properly before starting the application. I did finger detangling but turned out that wasn't enough. So next time I'll make sure I moisturize my hair and use a white tooth comb to properly detangle my hair before the application. I read from naturallykelly.com that this should be done on dry hair for best results. But from a video I watched, it could be done on damp or wet hair too. Being my first time, I didn't find it easy working the clay into the dry hair. So I ended up spraying in a little water. And going forward, I decided to spray water in my hair before applying the clay. 
I must say it was way easier applying it on a wet hair compared to applying it on the dry hair. So next time I'm doing the bentonite clay hair mask, I'll be intentional about wetting my hair before starting the application. One more thing here, the clay is also meant to detoxify the scalp, so it's important to apply it to the scalp. I wasn't intentional about the scalp application and did that whenever I remembered though. But next time I'm doing this, I'll be intentional about it. It is also important to coat every strand for best results. One other practice which would have been very helpful was to have worked in smaller sections. That will make the application easier. Some people put the section in twists after applying the clay, but I just decided to leave it. There's a whole scientific explanation to how bentonite clay works and this will amaze you. I'll link a video in the description to Green Beauty YouTube channel where she explains the science behind clay and its use on the hair and scalp with graphics and animations for better understanding. Please watch that video and do some more research on your own before you use bentonite clay. It's always an opportunity to learn something new about your hair. So from everything that went on during the application, this is what I intend to do the next time I'm applying bentonite clay mask. So I'll first wet my hair in the shower and use that opportunity to detangle my hair properly. I'll then put my hair into workable sections and lastly be intentional about applying the clay mask to my scalp. If you're new here, welcome to Rosie Natural. My name is Rose. On this channel, I share my natural hair care journey, which includes hair care, hairstyles, and a few DIYs to help with the natural hair journey. If you like this content, do stick around by way of subscription and also turn on your notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. All my new and old subscribers, it's always good to have you here. I'm all done now and I'll allow it to air dry, which is one option of two. The other option is to cover your hair with a shower cap. So from what I learned, if you feel you have much product buildup or it's probably the first time you are using it, you might want to allow it to air dry so that the clay can dry up properly and do its job more effectively. So after 20 minutes, the clay was dried but not completely dried but I was ready to wash it out. And here we are. It's like I don't have enough ways to describe how my hair actually felt 
after rinsing out the clay. By the way, you have to wash it out with warm water. And whilst washing out, you have to be massaging the scalp so that all of the clay will come off. So that after you are done, there will be nothing left on your scalp. My hair feels soft and somehow silky and I just love the texture. I finished this up with my DIY deep conditioner which I made with honey, olive oil and my regular conditioner. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.